Hi, if you've just arrived here, I recommend watching parts 3.1 and 3.2 first so that you understand the context of this part. So how should we visualise the difference between a genuine edge and a fake edge? Now you heard me allude to the genuine edge and also to the maximum genuine edge in the previous episodes. This is the actual edge that the parameters of the trading system exhibit when played out on data that they've never seen before. For example, when we trade the system live. We also spoke about how difficult it can be to extract the maximum edge, but with sufficient sample size or number of trades, we can get fairly close to it. So here, for example, if we have a genuine edge, then what we said is that we will try to extract in the region of 90% of that genuine edge out of the system. Now let's take a look at this concept of the fake edge. And this is just the term I use for the edge that a parameter set appears to exhibit when observed as part of an optimization process on in sample data. This could be better or could in some situations be worse than the genuine edge that those parameter values have. Let me explain. So there are two different situations here. One where we have a, a positive fake edge and the other where we get a negative fake edge. Okay, now the, the first one is the most dangerous to us as algo traders. So in this situation, the parameter set that we observed in the optimization may have a very healthy looking edge, but that's only remember because of overfitting. Now the genuine edge of this same parameter set might actually be much lower. And when that's the case, if this was the best, if these were the best performing parameter set in the optimization, we would trade them. And this is the actual edge we would get from that system in our live account. Worse than that is when this parameter set has a genuine edge that is negative. And what this means is that we've chosen it based on this good performance, but when we trade it live, it loses money because the genuine edge is negative. Now, the other scenario is where a particular parameter set performs badly in the optimization, so the fake edge is negative. However, those underlying parameters that gave us that result in the optimization have a genuine edge that is positive. So what does this mean? Well, it means that these parameters that we would have liked to have ranked highly in the optimization get completely disregarded because the fake edge as a result of overfitting ranked those parameters very low in that optimization. Now that might have been because of the fact that these parameters by chance got negatively affected by news events such as NFP coming out. And that might have happened on a few occasions in the, in the parameter optimization, which meant that the result was it got ranked very lowly. So this one's the worst situation because here we could put a system live and lose money. With this one, we're simply not choosing the best parameters from our optimization. So we're not extracting them effectively. So two different scenarios there, both caused by overfitting of our data. So what are the key takeaway points from this episode? Well, there are two major factors that contribute to overfitting. The first is overfitting to noise in the price action. And this means you won't be using the parameters with the best chance of reliably predicting future behavior. Instead, you'll be choosing those that manage to fit best to the noise in the past data. 
And the second is overfitting to events, which has the effect of totally skewing the ranking of your parameters, making the job of choosing the ones with the best genuine edge much more difficult. But fortunately, overfitting is something that we can actually measure. And to a fairly good extent, it's something that's avoidable. There are very real actions we can take to prevent the effects of it. And that's going to be the topic of the next episode. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when it becomes available. Also, please give us a like and share if you've got any value from this production. That's all for now. Until next time.